Okay, so the, the next thing that we need to do is we need to program the camera to follow the player. So in order to do that, we will select the camera and then we will add a component which will be a script and we will call the script camera controller, camera controller, uh, because it's going to control the camera and notice the two capital C's. We're going to have it a C-sharp file and we're going to create an add. So now uh, the script got added into our project panel and we're just going to drag it into the scripts folder so that we keep all our scripts together. And then we're going to double click to open and we are going to edit it. So the first thing we need to add is we need to add a public variable um, which is a game object which is going to refer to our sphere player game object and we're just going to call it variable player because it is a player um, and this will create a space for us to attach our player to the camera and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a private vector 3 and vector 3 is for XYZ movement and we're going to call that offset and that is going to be the um, space that needs to get maintained between the camera and the player so that they aren't on top of each other. Next in the start section, so between these two curly brackets, we are going to explain what offset is. So we're going to say offset equals uh, transform dot position position minus the player dot transform position. So this is going to take whatever position the player is in, well, whatever position the camera is in, and subtract the player's position from that. And then we need a semicolon. So we've got that calculation taking place. And then under void update, uh, we're actually going to call this late update. These updates happen once per frame in your game, but you want to make sure that the camera update happens last of all the once per frame updates and so that can be called late update and the update is going to be transform dot position equals player dot player dot transform dot position plus offset. So that means that the transform position of the camera is now going to be the player's position plus the difference between the camera's position and the player's position. And then we need a semicolon there to complete that section of code. And I think we've got it. So if we say file save, and then we go back to our game, and we need to now, so if we look at the main camera, you can see we added the script, the camera controller script, and you can see that the script is attached, but in the space where it says player, there is not a game object yet attached. And so we need to drag our player game object and attach it here. So now the player game object is attached to the camera. So let's go ahead and play the game and see what happens. Okay, here we are, rolling, 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 and we can see that the camera is able now to follow the player. Nice, we did it.